Farming isn't a job, it's a way of life. It's never easy growing hops. It's never easy being part of that process, but it's more enjoyable now because you can see from the ground all the way to the consumer, the process and you're involved with it, make a living out of it, and that's what we love to do. And I think as a grower at YCH, that is what defines us. Hop growers put a lot of time and effort into growing their hop crop. And the uh, system back in the 70s and the 80s when I was a young hop grower really wasn't conducive to hop growers representing their hops into the marketplace with the same pride and effort that they were growing. It was time to create a grower own company that can bring a little transparency to the business. We really felt that making that connection with brewers allowed them to understand a little bit more about what growers go through to grow a good quality hop that'll make nice beer. And as growers, we needed to know more about what the brewers were doing with those hops. There really wasn't that level of transparency back then that there is now. The idea was to be able to have your hops get to the consumer and have a visibility all the way through, an ability to add value to that. And it evolved without really knowing how it was going to develop at the end. Just the 20 years I've been in the industry, we've seen a lot of change. It used to be pretty much big brewers, pellets going to a brew kettle, getting boiled for 60 to 90 minutes. Today, it's completely changed. It's a lot of volume going into craft breweries and now the way they use the hops is different. So it's a lot of dry hopping. So just the requirements of the customers changed and I think in the early days of craft they didn't even realize that themselves. So we've worked with some key customers on what's going to make dry hopping better and that softer pellet that dissolves is something that works better. But then as dry hopping rates increase, their beer loss increases as well. So their efficiencies are going down and they're being less efficient, less sustainable, less profitable. So that's where we've developed cryo hops to really help the brewer on the cold side in the dry hopping process improve their yields, improve their flavor, improve their sustainability, improve their quality. That's been our, our innovation that we've been focusing on the last couple of years and we've seen some really good results, uh, good feedback from customers and some really great beers. Before we even had a brew house purchased, we had contracts with, with YCH. Our beers live and, and die on, on the hop varieties and, and the quality of those varieties. When we started Bream, one of the major things that we set out to do was to make the best beer that we possibly could. And when it comes to hops, that's a major part of our beer. The quality, flavor profile, how they're handled, the direct relationship we have with our farmers and then with YCH is incredibly important. Selection is really critical for us because the crop year sets the standard for the next brewing year. That ability to go directly from the grower to the brewer is just incredible. We really have taken the approach that the breeding program is the very front end of the supply chain. So the varieties that we release from that impact every different level of supply chain, you know, whether it be through more efficient varieties lower cost, better quality, whatever that might be, it's going to have a positive impact up through that entire supply chain, from the breeding through to the grower ownership, and then right through to the processing and then directly to the brewer, is a really unique thing that, that you won't find anywhere else in the hop industry. We sell an agricultural product, so without access to, to water, good hardy soils and environmental conditions, um, we would not have the product that makes our business go. We were able to implement a carbon neutral program um, with our shipping partner through UPS. We have a four-year plan for investing a lot of money, over a million dollars, in solar. We're at a stage right now where global, we call craft beer, is about one-fourth of the size of North American craft beer volume, okay? But that global amount is growing at a much faster pace now than what the U.S. is because the U.S. has already had big growth. We already have a good presence, but we're going to keep pushing these great American hops and, and varieties that we at YCH are responsible for. We do have offices in Brussels, in Hong Kong, and southern China. We really want to position ourselves to make that connection with the world's finest brewers. And the reason is that almost every culture 
brews beer and we want to be there where the beer is brewed. We really do think that our hops are produced with a very high degree of passion, with a very high degree of attention to quality. We want to make our hops available to every brewer in the world if possible.